everyone, this is not a true unboxing of my Amy Cups. Uh, my first uh, attempt got corrupted, so I'm going to just go through the motions of the whole process. So, um, uh, I wanted to give you some information about my experience with purchasing these cups first off. Um, and when I first came across the Amy Cup uh, a few months ago, I tried to contact the Athena Holding Company, the makers of the Amy Cup, to purchase these cups because every time I went to their website, it said that it was not available for my country. So I had also um, found the Amy Cup being offered on some other websites and I contacted them. Um, I also contacted all of these companies on Facebook and I never got a reply. So um, I do have a cousin that is um, in Spain. Uh, she lives in Barcelona, but she's an actress, a singer, um, all-around performer, and um, I knew it was going to be a while before she could get back to me, but I had her search for the Amy Cup um, in her area since that is one of the um, places that the Athena Holding Company said that they shipped to. So she didn't have any luck finding them um, um, in any stores or anything like that, and I didn't want her to purchase it from the website because I would have to pay for um, the shipping from Italy to uh, Spain and then Spain to the United States, so that was going to be quite pricey for me. Um, so I just kind of put it on my mind for the time, and then on October 1st, uh, 2015, I went window shopping on the Athena Holding Company's website, the amycup.com site, and um, what I do is I just add some stuff to uh, the shopping cart uh, to, just to see what the shipping is going to come out to, and it allowed me to um, place an order. And I was surprised and actually not really ready because I had only um, added the Amy Cup original and one of the crystal cups, uh, the two menstrual cups that they have for uh, to offer right now. Um, so my order had gone through and it was like $85, $86 and um, I did pay for it with or through PayPal and I was so surprised that when I had received my confirmation of order, I um, contacted the email that was um, inside of that, uh, inside of my confirmation letter and asked them if they do ship to the United States now. So this is the first time I have had ever gotten a reply from the company and I had to go through the email that they sent me um, and asked them, do you ship to the United States? And he said, yes, we do, uh, but not for the shipping price that you paid for. So he was going to contact Alberto, who does the um, does the the packaging and orders, I guess, and um, ask him what the difference is going to be, and then he'd send me a new total. And I said, great, that's fine. Um, let me know. I'll pay the difference because I want these cups. I've been trying to get my hands on these cups for a while now. So um, the week went by and I didn't hear from him again and um, so I went ahead and contacted him and I said, you know what, if uh, he hadn't, if Alberto hadn't processed my order yet um, and figured out the shipping, I would like to add on the size small because I only got um, the two cups in a size medium. I wanted to add on a size small of the crystal um, styled cup. So um, he again forwarded my email but uh, translated kind of into what I wanted and he actually had that incorrect. He said that I wanted to swap out my medium sized crystal for a small sized crystal and that wasn't the case. I wanted both of the sizes. Um, so he said okay I'm gonna you know see what's going on. Uh, we went back and forth for um, a few weeks, three weeks, um, and nothing was resolved, and I was getting quite frustrated with it. Um, the money showed that it was in PayPal, um, but it wasn't claimed, so uh, my money was kind of floating in a sense, and I hate that feeling. 
Um, I didn't know when they were going to accept the money, if they were going to accept the money, and I just didn't want that money to disappear from my bank account um, at any given time. I wanted, you know, some warning on that, uh, just in case I needed, you know, to pay a bill or something at the same time. I didn't want uh, my account to be in insufficient funds or something. So, um, uh, looking at PayPal, it said that if it was unclaimed by the 31st of October, um, my money would would be expired, or or that payment would be expired. So they they couldn't take the money after the 31st. Um, after being so frustrated with that whole process, I went to menstrualcup.co. Uh, that website and I went window shopping and I put in all the cups that I wanted this time and I pushed order and it went through and again I was surprised because at um, uh, before in the past when I tried to order from that site it would always say that the Amy cup was not available in my country however some of the other cups that I had added at those other times um, stated that it would be shipped from here or there. Um, so a little forewarning about um, the menstrualcup.co website. They're kind of a hub. They're a middleman um, in a sense where they will take your order and your money and distribute it to whichever cup company that you purchase from. So it, say I, I'm not sure if they have these cups but I'm using them as an example. So the Amy cup comes from Italy and say the Maluna cup comes from Germany and um, the Angel cup comes from Mexico. If you buy those three cups and um, have them shipped to you, they will come from those corresponding areas. Um, you will not get your cups all at one time and you will not get them from the menstrualcup.co website. Um, she does not have those cups on hand to send to you. She distributes the money and the orders and those companies send them to you. So um, please know that when you order from this company. Um, so I went ahead and did my order through them and was surprised that it went through. So when I got my confirmation email, um, I emailed her saying, do you guys, um, or I replied to her saying, do you guys ship to the United States? And she said, uh, the Athena Holding Company just released sales to the United States. So yes, we do. And you just reminded me to post to that. So um, it was funny because later that day I saw people start to post on Facebook that uh, the menstrualcup.co company now um, ships the Amy Cup to the United States. So um, I reminded her to do that. So I just thought that was funny. Um, so I placed my order with them even though my other order and money was not um, claimed yet uh, on the 21st. And um, I was kind of on top of that one. I kept checking because they had already taken my $113 for my order for the three cups. And um, I just wanted to make sure that I was going to receive it. I knew that uh, since they were a middleman, I would be getting it from the actual company themselves. And I was because I didn't get my other order, I was worried about it. And so um, I kept checking my account on the menstrualcup.co site, and it kept saying pending. It in my um, Initial email, it did say that I was supposed to get a tracking number from the Athena Holding Company, but I never did. And um, so I just kept checking and checking, and it kept saying pending and pending. And then on the 27th, I went to go check it again, and my um, order disappeared. I don't know what happened. I clicked on every single link in my account that I could possibly check, and it showed nothing that I made in order. So I was really worried and I emailed her saying, do you know what happened to my account? My order disappeared. Did it um, go through? Is it being sent? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I didn't get a reply from her. Um, and I know it was only two days later, but I, I was going to email her again um, because I hadn't heard from her over the last those couple days. Um, but the 31st was Halloween and that was a Saturday and Sunday. So the weekend I figured she wouldn't get back to me and then I was hoping Monday she would, but um, Monday morning came and I didn't get any reply. 
Um, but that that afternoon, I had received my package from the Athena Holding Company, so I actually got my cups, but to this day, I still hadn't heard anything back from her. So some of the communication was okay, and then it just kind of fell off, and um, that makes me worried about, you know, me ordering again. I, I, I'm sorry, but it, it just customer service is, is a big deal uh, to me. So um, I did order the Amy Cup Original in a size medium and the Amy Cup Crystal in a size small and a size medium. I'm sorry, they only carry size small and size medium. I don't know if they're going to um, incorporate a large later on. But here is my package um, from the uh, Athena Holding Company and you can see that it did come from Italy there. My original video with the information of the two cups came out really, really long. So um, I am going to put up links here and here and you can click on which of the Amy cups you want information for. I will also include uh, my review of the Amy cup crystal since it's the only one that I tried so far right here and you can watch that if you want to.